Hey, 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 it is week eight of our training for the upcoming virtual wine and dine. Stay tuned. We've got some tips and some updates. Thanks for joining. So, what happened this week? So, this week, um, we had a really fun Friday. So on Saturday, we didn't go running. No. Uh, it just was not going to happen. No. So we postponed it um, to today. Today is Monday. We did go out and do our short run this week. So we ran three miles this three morning. Miles, yeah. Great. Yeah. We walked the dog for a mile and a half, yeah. and then we ran three And, and it, worked, it worked out well because uh, fall is trying it's to trying get here. It's trying so hard, so, and we're so ready to welcome it. Yeah, today was nice. It. Today, yeah, to, we today had a cool cooler. breeze. Yeah. It was warm. Like, it was still sunny yeah. until... We're coming around the corner yeah, to come home. Coming our, around the corner. Finishing our and a run. cloud goes right awesome on top of the sun. Cloud. That's okay. So, uh, like we've said before, be flexible with your training. You know, we couldn't do it on Saturday. That was <laughs> Physically. Our, our fault. <laughs> our fault. So, we hydrated properly uh, yesterday. Yes. And here Much we better. are. Uh, so, yeah. you know, just be flexible. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, uh, it's crazy times right now. So, flexibility... Uh, that's gonna really, uh, it's gonna really help you in the long run. Yeah. Speaking of flexibility, well, so we have talked in the past about David's knees, right? Um, and if you want to, you can see. A link is it? Is it here? Yeah. To yeah. Uh, to uh, the knee braces that I uh, purchased. Mm -hmm. uh, the swear by video will show you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know how? Uh, yeah, how to. How to wear them, and yeah, uh, I trained almost all of last year with them for a and full marathon. Ran in yeah. them for a full marathon. They were fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. they really, really helped because less than a mile into a run without any kind of support, my knees were killing me. Mm -hmm. Back then, is that happening now? No. We have two theories as to why that's happening. Well, one, we've lost a lot of weight. My knee braces are too big now. Right. They, they're, they're, uh, I measured them last year and uh, now they're, they're too big. Mm -hmm. So they're not staying in place uh, the way they did. They were also like maybe stretching out a little yeah, bit. You yeah. felt like you probably would need to get yeah. some new ones anyway. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we've lost a little bit of weight. So that's kind of taken maybe the strain off of our knees. I was a little concerned. Having to run around the neighborhood, we used to run at a park yeah. where we would run on crushed granite, yeah. which we all know is better for your knees yeah, really than running soft. on yeah. Uh, yeah, on road. Yeah. Um, but we've been okay running on road. Yeah. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing that I think we accidentally did to ourselves yeah. to help uh, David's knees, uh, we mentioned last time that we've been walking every day. Yeah. And, you know, we started doing that in, in March. We started walking probably a mile and a half mile, mile and a half a day. Then we worked up pretty consistently to two miles a day. And now we're up to three miles a day. And we do that every single day. We walked every single day for the last six months. And I happened to read an article in Prevention Magazine over the weekend yeah. that said that there was some study that indicated that, uh, well, first of all, we know that joints like movement. So, um, you know, the fact that we're walking, you know, so much every day, it seems to be helping. But also there was a study that showed that people that walked at least 6,000 steps a day fared better uh, joint health wise than people who didn't. So we're definitely hitting that mark every yeah, day. Yeah. So I think this whole thing of, oh my gosh, we're in lockdown, but we have to like get some fresh air and get some exercise inadvertently led to healthier knees for Davey, yep. which is great. Yeah, I think so. So the com combo of walking to lubricate the joints mm -hmm. and walking and which, walking, which also okay. strengthens the muscles, which uh -huh. takes some strain off yeah. of the joints too. Yeah, that was and, something else and, that said. and losing some weight. Mm -hmm. uh, my knees are actually uh, feeling great, and uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <nothing. laughs> <Right>. Sorry. <laughs> we uh, silly. we ran uh, seven se seven miles last weekend. last weekend. I didn't the day after running two, so we we ran back to back yeah. also. And my knees are great. But for those of you who are looking for uh, support for aching knees, 
here is the way to measure your mm -hmm. leg properly. Yeah, it's for important the to get the right you, size. Yeah, you, you have to. And I, <clears throat> I'm, I'm a seamstress, so you know it wasn't a big deal for us to measure. Mm -hmm. You know, I knew what they meant when they said measure here, yeah. and I knew how to do it. Yeah. So not everybody knows how to do yeah. that. So we're just gonna run through a, a quick demo of how to grab that measurement to get the right size. Yeah. So here you go. Okay, so for the athletic uh, knee support that I've used and I highly recommend, uh, you have to measure your leg properly and then use their sizing chart to figure the size of brace that you need to purchase. Their instructions indicate you should measure your thigh five and a half inches above your knee. All right, so I'm the pro with the, um, the measuring tape in the household. Totally. Uh, so, I'm going to show you guys how we did this. So, I have a tape measure. Oops, I'm already doing it wrong. <laughs> that was going to be four and a half inches. Um, so, I'll kind of note where five and a half inches here. I, I, I just have it right where my thumb is. So, we're going to go to like the top of Davy's kneecap here and just set that down. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to measure right around here, right? So, to do that, you're just going to Place the measuring tape, kind of where you measured your five and a half inches, and try to go around without, see what I just did is kind of go like that. You want it to be as even around, like have it meet up so that you're not getting like extra space in there. And you also want it to just be like as tight as his leg, right? So don't like pull too much or have any little, like, little uh, bubbles back here. Um, and what we're looking at here is 19 and a half inches. So we're going to take 19 and a half inches to the measuring chart or the sizing chart chart that the company provided. That's right. So now let's take a look at the sizing chart. Here it is. And 19 and a half inches. This is the size we need to get. I, I can't uh, emphasize enough how great uh, this uh, brand of knee brace uh, was. Uh, so if you're interested, um, go for it. Let us know uh, how they work for you if you get them. Uh, and let us know how your training is going. Uh, we're excited. Uh, again, we're doing the uh, virtual wine and dine and we're doing the challenge. So it's mm -hmm. a 10K mm -hmm. followed by the half. Mm -hmm. uh, we're excited about it. This next weekend's run will be runs will be three miles on Friday, followed by eight miles on Saturday. So, <laughs> subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and you'll get those updates as soon as we upload them. We're excited. Hey, my knees aren't hurting. That is fantastic. It's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting. I tell you, it doesn't matter what we do. It's always an adventure with you.